Hey everybody, I uh, hope you're well. I know it's been a while. Sorry about the delay um, in my videos, but I don't want to talk about stuff unless I have something to talk about. So tonight, I have something to talk about. So the, for this last week, I've been um, rehearsing and acting in the vagina monologues. Um, at Seattle University, there was a show, three shows, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and we started rehearsals last Sunday, so you know, it took a week dedicated the evenings of my week to, you know, practicing the lines and uh, practicing readings with the, with, the, with the girls in my group and um, then put, putting on the shows. And I'm so glad I did it. It has just been an amazing experience. And if you're watching and you were in the show with me, hi, I miss you. Um, and I had a, such a good time, you know, being in, being in the play. I, um, It was just really empowering, you know, it's, there, there's, uh, I've come to realize in the last couple of years that, you know, there's a lot of sexism that, uh, and social pressures on, on women to conform to this sort of image of, of beauty or of womanhood, which is completely a fabricated image, a fabricated idea and hoist upon the masses as the standard when really it's completely ridiculously unachievable for, for, for so many people. And this show is, is the antithesis because the whole thing is about why women are so awesome and powerful and sexy and gorgeous just the way they are. Uh, every single one, every single woman and just the power the stories that women carry with them, um, stories from their lives, and uh, just it's so empowering, you know, as, as someone who did not grow up with female socialization and has not really been able to spend much time in the company of women, like, as a woman, I, I just, I just needed it. I'm so glad that I did it because... I never would have had anything like this if I'd stayed in Denmark. Um, I just, it would not have been the same. If it even existed, or even if I had the opportunity. Um, I, one of the girls, there's another trans woman who is in the show. And at the cast party, she gave this really great little speech about how much she loves being in female spaces. And, uh, I mean, I, I wish that I'd thought of it to say because, like, it, I, it was one of the first times that I really, really felt, like, accepted and welcome and, and uh, you know, welcomed, like, welcome and welcomed into this space, um, you know, and I've had some pretty bad, I have some pretty, I have some memories of pretty bad times of, being in female spaces and really trying to fit in and trying to be comfortable, uh, but just not ultimately. And practically for this entire week, you know, honestly, literally for this entire week, it wasn't an issue for a single moment. And uh, so I just feel very, very blessed to have been able to be part of this show. And um, I think that any of you who have not seen the show ever, should go see it um, because you know most most places that that do it do it every year because it's an annual thing um, and fuck you know women should be celebrated at least once a year just for being who they are because uh, we are awesome and I'm proud to be a woman really 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 proud I'm proud to be trans too but I mean I'm proud to be a woman first so and, um, you know, it's also really nice just to have these girls up there talk, talking to me about their vaginas for, <laughs> for hours and hours and hours. You know, it's like, uh, makes me, makes me want to talk about mine, you know. There, I mean, the piece that I, one of the pieces that I was reading, or taking part, that I was acting in was, uh, you know, focused on transgender women and the, situation there 
um, but it's very, very respectful. And uh, I sort of lost my train of thought. I can't remember where I was going with this. Um, I just, I, you know, it was really cool because you don't really, t people don't talk, women don't talk about their vaginas. Like, it's so like, <gasps> like if someone says the word vagina, it's like, la, 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 you know, especially dudes. But, uh, you know, just the, 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 the vocabulary being used this week by all the girls. It's so funny because they'll say, they'll say to me, you know, they won't ask me, is this your bag? They'll say, is this your vagina's bag? <laughs> and instead of saying, I feel like this, they'll say, my vagina feels like this, or my vagina wants this. And that's just so fucking cool. My vagina wants a lot of things, and um, I don't think my vagina wants to talk about it right now in front of the internet, in front of everybody, um, because my vagina is still slightly abnormal. But I definitely feel justified in, in claiming that I have one. The, the parts that I have have changed so much that um, it's really not very much like life before. You know, I really feel, I really feel like I've got a pussy. I really feel like my vagina exists. I can feel it. You know, there's been some studies recently about phantom, phantom limbs know what that is. It's like if you if someone has an accident and they have to have their arm severed um, so they have no more arm but they can still feel their arm there and, and, and feel like they can move it. It's called phantom limb and there's some studies coming out lately that have been talking about phantom genitals in trans people and um, sort of been thinking a lot lately that you know what I definitely have phantom vagina because um, it's just how my brain it's just, it's just wired into me just wired into me and beyond that the way that the quality of my skin down there has changed it's so much more like a vagina than like a penis and um, you know I have to admit that it was a little bit difficult to sort of know that I was the only one in the cast uh, that didn't have a proper vagina. That was a little bit um, hard to deal with at times, but it was like never an issue with anyone. It didn't really get talked about, um, but when it did, it was just nothing but support, supportive words and You know, I feel like I earned it. I feel like I earned my vagina now, this week. Going through this with all these other awesome women and, you know, many of them had never acted before and just, we went from a group of complete strangers to a really, really great group of friends. And um, I'll, I'll be really, really sad if, if I don't see any of them again because that's, that's not really what I want. You know, I came back to the country where they speak my language because I missed people like me. I missed being around crazy, cool, queer people like me that didn't have European inhibitions. So I feel like I am part of a group of women now. And that's huge for me. So I've been rambling, so I'm going to stop now. Thank you for watching. Please uh, support your friendly neighborhood vaginas. And um, I'll see you next time.